Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, there's turmoil in Maroon Town as the Maroon Town leader, Chief Curry, is being accused of leading with a iron fist, ladies and gentlemen. Greetings, greetings, and salutations to all nation. Ladies and gentlemen, you know I'm Rastafari, right? so do of the Roots TV. And if this is your first time tuning in, I'm asking you hit that red subscribe button. And we're going to have a great relationship. You heard me right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to the Roots. Where if you want to hear the truth, you know I'm Rastafari soldier. The Maroon Town leader, Chief Richard Curry, is being accused, ladies and gentlemen, of leading with a stern fist. Richard Curry, the leader of the Maroon Town there in St. Elizabeth in Acompan, is being accused of using force to lead by the members of the community after a man was wounded during an altercation with associates of the Maroon Town Chiefs. Ladies and gentlemen, this sounds to be another sign of a problem here in St. Bess. It is not something that we are looking for. We know uh, none of that as NT. You are going to. Now, in accordance with the newspaper, the Maroon leader has also claimed that media members are pushing a narrative against him. He stated that his nephew was injured subsequently in an altercation with the security team. Okay. He, however, said that members of the security team did not do the injuring of his nephew. So basically what happened is his nephew, whose state is mentally ill, probably disrespect the chief. Because I'm family, because I saw family go on a yard. You are going to see, I saw we go on, we push up ourselves, and we family member. And the security team was there, but are probably other generals within the community damage him up. The incident was reportedly occurred on Friday. Now, about 3 a.m. at the time, Curry stated that he was in his bed, but he admitted outline the circle that curry really was the person in charge in the area a family member who is a woman is preponderantly an aunt of the injured nephew you are going to now she blasted the maroon chief for alleged act action in a voice note that's going viral right now people now also you may want you to hear some of the outskirt or the excerpt noted here in the local paper. Listen what she says. I saw you plan for do it. You plan for brutalize and abuse the people them. The woman questioned in the voice note in where she made several damning allegations, ladies and gentlemen, against Curry. You don't care about the Maroons was one of them. The woman further proposed. Now, I'm very disappointed in her, Curry said, and how she would have done what she did to represent herself, particularly on social media. Yaganti, because there have been spats of incident, said Curry. It's just last few weeks or so, many allegations have been lavished and laid against me. Myself, really, is standing strong members of the administration my security team and obviously attempted to destabilize the team that we are putting together he added the relationship to the wounding of his nephew curry claimed that members of the security team attempted to shut down an event that was being held that is unauthorized and the incident occurred at that time ladies and gentlemen now in the process of the incident took, taking place involving chico that's his nephew now let me be clear curry stated in the paper now the wounded infliction on chico was not inflicted by a member of my security team 
Curry asserted. He continued, let also be, be clear that Chief Richard Curry is not no Don, nor any gangster, but an elected official supported by his people. Some individual living within the Maroon community have accused Curry of arming members of the security details with illegal weapons to enforce the law. However, the Maroon leader has denied all allegations as well. According to Curry, factions within the Maroon community are attempting to destabilize his leadership. In addition, he rejected assertion that any member of the security team had shot, beaten, or threatened any Maroons in the area with guns or weapon. Curry also denied assertion that the pro he provided members of security details with illegal gun. It is understand that St. Elizabeth police have taken interest into these claims and has now investigated and is still investigating Curry and the security team. A probe has been launched into the matter as the wounded man has lodged a complaint with the St. Elizabeth police. You are going to Now, people, my question in this whole report here, how do you think that there are people within the faction that are destabilizing the Maroon Town leaders? Do you feel that Curry is a mole, someone that was placed here by the government to destabilize the Maroon or actually to buy out the Maroon? You are guaranteed to modernize and to take the indigenous land away from the people and he's acting as if he's with the people. You are guaranteed, or do you think he's a good person that's actually standing up for the right and the liberty of the community? Go ahead and leave your comment, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just reporting here that there is an un unstabilization or destabilization of the maroon community that's going on and Curry is saying that Oh, no, fit, tap it. Yeah, I guarantee them turn up the heat pan curry the other day. And I said, yo, like say them want to go down there, cut down the fields. And curry have to march out with the big musket. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rasta Far Right Soldier here of Deep Roots TV. And I want to just report on that because it seems like they want to give the Maroon leader a fight. Yeah, I guarantee. Let me know what you think, people. Let me know what you think. I'm Rasta Far Right Soldier Deep Roots TV. You know the saying. If you have not subscribed as yet, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Leave your comment. People, people, people. You see how them are trying to destabilize them around them? You can tell to them. Evil. Bless up yourself, people. Share this one for me. Like and comment. You are guarantee. Give the Rasta man some strength. I want you on the Rasta man parliament. You are going to take.